This is the new Givo Smart Lock. It replaces your existing, your traditional deadbolt that you have in your residential home, and it's compatible with 4S all the way up to 5S and such. And in these examples, I'm going to show you what it's like um, traditionally to open your front door with a key and to show you how long it can relatively take if you have your hands full of groceries, if you're carrying kids, if it's dark out and you can't see or find your keys, therefore you're fumbling with your keys. So I'm showing you here that traditionally when you unlock your door, you don't have your you know correct key available for you here in this example. I pulled the wrong key out. I'm opening my front door and then in about... 30 to 40 seconds later, I'm in. But I'm picking up my groceries, I'm walking inside, and um, by doing so, it can be, you know, just one of those little life annoyances uh, having to always reach for your keys. So in this next shot, I'm going to open the front door with, by just simply touching the Kivo lock here. My iPhone is in my front pocket, and within about four or five seconds, the Kivo lock recognizes me, and I'm able to walk inside without having to put down my groceries. Okay, here's the new uh, Quick Set Kivo installed. You can see here that the door is unlocked. I'll show you what basically happens here. I'll take my take my door with my phone. Take my my door with my phone here, my 5S. And I'll simply tap the lock and then I'll untap it. My door is unlocked. And I'll close. I'll take my phone like so. And I'll place it in my front pocket so it's in line of sight with the Kivo. And then I'll tap it. And the door is now locked. Okay. And then I'll tap again. And the door is now unlocked. I'll try one more time. I'm about a, I'm about a foot away from my door here. Tap. And now the door is locked again. And then I'll tap again to unlock. It works every time. Now if I'm about three feet from the door, so this is me, this is about three feet maybe four feet and I'll extend my arm really far looking ridiculous and I'll tap let's see if it works nope too far so you have to be in line of sight you have to be in front of the lock for it to unlock like you would come to expect when you lock or unlock your door you stand in front of your lock so now my door is locked now if I take my phone Okay, I'm going to place it in my back pocket, like so. The Kivo lock will most likely not lock or unlock because the lock needs to be in line of sight. It needs to be in your front pocket or if you have a bag in the front of your bag. So I will go ahead and test this out. So I'm technically directly in front of the lock. My pocket is lined up and because it's not in line of sight, meaning that the phone is not in my front pocket, it will most likely not unlock or lock. And it's thinking really hard. It's not going to work. It's going to flash. So this, t this said to me, it didn't work because the lock was not in line of sight. I'll try one more time. Nothing has changed. So it's not going to work. It's thinking Flashes the red means no. So now I'll take my phone, put it in my front pocket like so. And now I'm in line of sight with it because it's in my front pocket. And I'll tap the lock. 
and it should work pretty quickly. Yep, it's gonna work this time. And now I'm in. Piece of cake. Yep, that's it. Works every time. I'm in my driveway outside. It's, uh, it's dark out, as you can see. And this test is a practical example of, of comparing which one would be faster, unlocking your deadbolt using your traditional key or simply using the new uh, Kivo Smart Lock, um, which pairs with your iPhone 4S, 5, 5S, 5C, and seeing which is faster. So I'm going to approach my door now and I'm going to use the, um, the Kivo touch sensor and that will allow me to enter my house without having to use a traditional key. So here I'm approaching my door. I want to enter. So I'll simply touch. And I'm inside. Piece of cake. So now I'll perform the same test. So now my door is locked. Okay, I can't enter. My door is locked. And I'll do the same test. But this time I'm going to use a traditional key that's in my pocket. So I'm going to approach my door with my traditional key, which is going to require me to fumble for my keys a little bit. My camera is going to get a little shaky. So here I'm at my front door. Looking through my keys. Uh, I found my key. And I'm now going to unlock my door. And here I am. So now I'm inside with both my traditional key and the Kivo. And this test simply shows that um, using the touch sensor on your Kivo lock is a lot faster than using a traditional key. As you could at least hear, um, I was fumbling for my keys. Imagine if your hands are full. Imagine if you didn't have um, a floodlight here lighting your way. Simply approaching your door using the, um, uh, the Kivo lock. Um, and touching it is a lot easier, more convenient, faster um, than fumbling for your traditional keys that are in your pocket. So if you found this video interesting, be sure to check out my other Kivo demonstration videos I created. Um, and if you're interested in purchasing, you can simply uh, visit Amazon.com, Newegg.com, or visiting the quickset.com slash Kivo website to make your purchase. It retails for $2.19 and it's available today. There is one caveat by purchasing the new Kiva Smart Lock. It is only compatible with iOS devices that are Bluetooth 4.0 capable. So this just means Android users and Windows Phone users who want to take advantage of this bleeding edge technology today. Uh, the good news is, is that you can use the, um, the included key fob, which you then pair uh, with your Kiva Smart Lock, and you attach the key fob to your keychain, and then you can use that uh, key fob until... Um, the folks over at Quickset slash Unikey develop the applications for your devices. This is the new Kivo Smart Lock. It replaces your existing, your traditional deadbolt that you have in your residential home and it's compatible with 4S all the way up to 5S and such. And in these examples I'm going to show you what it's like um, traditionally to open your front door with a key and to show you how long it can relatively take if you have your hands full of groceries, if you're carrying kids, if it's dark out and you can't see or find your keys, therefore you're fumbling with your keys. So I'm showing you here that traditionally when you unlock your door, you don't have your you know correct key available for you here in this example. I pulled the wrong key out. I'm opening my front door and then in about 30 to 40 seconds later, I'm in. But I'm picking up my groceries, I'm walking inside, and um, by doing so, it can be, you know, just one of those little life annoyances.